Okay, uh, this, uh, <clears throat> what we're going to do is show you fractions when we have unlike denominators. So for this problem, what I'm going to do is, way, check that out, ooh, okay. Um, when I'm going to be taking a look at this, remember when we're adding or subtracting, we always have to make sure we have the common denominators. So in this case, I noticed that my common denominator is 6. So the first thing I need to do, actually, let's, let me first actually show you what 1 sixth would be, remember, one section of these, and 2 thirds is going to look something like this. Okay, so what I'm doing is if I have 1 6 minus 2 thirds, I gotta first make them into equivalent fractions. So I'm gonna change this to be a 6, so therefore my denominators will be the same. I make sure that whenever I multiply my denominator by a number, I need to make to multiply my number, or my numerator. So therefore I'll have 1 6 minus 4 6. Now just like adding and subtracting, remember, whenever we're subtracting, um, or adding, remember you keep the denominator the same and you just add and subtract the numerator. So 1 borrowing 4 or 1 minus 4 is going to give me a negative 3 over 6. So how do you represent that up here? Well, I drew kind of not really good colors, but really if I was to draw this into 6, this right now currently into 3rd, so into 6 I'd cut each one of these in half. All right, And you can see that, you know, obviously my 4 6 is the same thing as 2 thirds. So what happens is if I have 1 and I need to subtract the 1, 2, 3, 4, I'm really going to be missing. These are like going to be my negative, right? This is what I'm still going to owe. I'm still going to owe these three bars. So 1 minus 4, I'm still going to owe a whole three more bars. That's why we have the sign is negative. So it's a negative 3 sixths. Um, let's just take a look at another example. Let's say I want to subtract 2 sevenths minus 5 fourteenths. So again, in this case, what we notice is our denominator share, one of our denominators, our common multiple shares one of our denominators. So therefore, the common multiple between 7 and 14, or the common denominator, is just going to be 14. So really simply, to get these to be there, um, actually, I made a mistake here. Let's do, no, yeah, that's okay. So what I'll do is I'll multiply by, 2 over 2. So therefore, now I'll get 4 over 14 minus 5 over 14. Numerators are same. Subtract. Denominators are the same. Subtract the numerator. 4 minus 5 is going to give me a negative 1 over 14. And that's your uh, final answer. Oops, here, I forgot. Let's go and reduce this. Negative 3, 6 can be reduced by a 3 on the top and bottom to a negative 1 half. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's your fractions of subtracting with unlike denominators.